all I've been holding this and I have been rubbing it. I have been rubbing this chip. I have been rubbing my chip all day long. I have been rubbing this chip all day long. So I'm gonna have to get another attorney. Looks like. Looks like, because the attorney I have doesn't do civil stuff. Mm. Honey, 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 honey. Not legit, honey. You're legit. I'm being very sarcastic when I'm saying honey. I hope you're watching this. I hope you're watching this. <laughs> Bull daddy, <laughs> bull daddy, I hope you watch my live. I hope you finally caught my live, because I sent you the link. <laughs> boy, has it been the past two days, and boy, was today even worse. I'm going to cool off. Oh, my God, I took a Xanax before I logged on. I kind of needed it. Kind of needed it. Didn't take one today, but I took one before I logged on. Um, Bull daddy, you see those little wrenches? Those are my moderators. Those are the people that make sure no stuff happens in here. Those are the people that have my back 24-7. 24-7, they have my back. Because I've had enough of text messages of BS. You understand me. I've had enough about snide remarks coming from you, about text messages, about BS. Do you understand me? I have 13 days sober. I have 13 days sober and I hold on to this chip for dear life when I get stressed. Do you understand? I'm not gonna throw any side, remark side remarks about sobriety. Understand? Honey, bull daddy, sweetheart. I'm not gonna throw any snide remarks about sobriety. Are you seeing double right now or triple? Doesn't sobriety look good on me? Doesn't it look good on me? Look how good sobriety looks on me. Can you see me? Can you see one of me? Can you? Look good, honey. This is what the face of sobriety looks like. Girl, you can't get out of your wheelchair. Find a hobby. Find a hobby, Jenny. Find a hobby. How's about doing some arm exercises in your chair? Jenny, you're the most miserable. See you next Tuesday than anybody I've ever seen. And guess what? Guess what? I can make a channel in five minutes. It takes you and your haters like days to report it. Jenny, Jen, Jen, I feel sorry for you. I feel so sorry for you that you have no life. Are you jelly? Are you jelly that I'm doing good and that I'm sober? Are you jealous? Are you jealous that I'm doing good and I'm sober, Jenny, Jen, Jen? Get a life. It takes me five minutes. Like I told you, I'm like herpes. You can't get rid of me. Oh, no. 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 Charlotte, good on you. I am so glad that you came up. By the way, I actually went on your channel today to give you a compliment right when you ended your life. I absolutely love. I absolutely love your new green screen. It's calming. It's pretty. And it's so much better than that baby grand piano. Girl, you had to get rid of that. But I'm going to throw some people under the bus, but it's well-deserved. It is well-deserved, and I have every right to stick up for myself. I understand that you think I've been vile, and I have been, and I admit anyone. Stone Gator, you're going to get about five minutes off of my channel. Five minutes. You're not even worth a minute on channels. It takes me five minutes to start a new channel. It takes five days for you to get it taken down. So, I don't know if you know what that means in Italian. I don't know if you know what that means, but I'm Greek and Italian, so, right? I don't even have to cut you, just. Stone Gator, you don't deserve five seconds out of my mouth, but you're going to get about five minutes. Where did you come from again? Why are you trying to make yourself relevant, and why are you using my name? You're, like, insignificant. I'll say it again. Insignificant. That's a big word for you. That's a real big word, so I'm going to say it real slow. Insignificant. Did you understand or do I need to say it slower? Because we know that you're ignorant. And I'm not saying it racist, but she's from the bayou. She's like really ignorant from the bayou. Like the swamps of New Orleans. And Stoned Gator is a great name for you. Because you must be absolutely stoned. I watched 20 minutes of your lives because I heard about it and I had enough. Because you are the most ignorant. Ignorant. Because that's how they say it on the bayou. Ignorant. They don't say ignorant because they can't say ignorant. They say ignorant. That's how they say it in the bayou. In Louisiana. They don't say Louisiana. They say Louisiana. They can't pronounce words. They can't enunciate words. They just chop them because they ignorant. Because they can't say ignorant. You 100% are stoned, Gator. Perfect name for your channel. Stoned Gator. Okay? Let me tell you how ignorant this person is. Because you are ignorant. And I know you're watching me. Here you go. She was a mod here. And she wanted to... She tried to take over my channel when I first started. She tried to literally take over my channel. She was on panel all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. She legitimately tried to take over my channel. She was on panel and wouldn't shut up. And then she got mad at me. Because I kept taking on the panel. Hey, you're on too much. Hey, you're talking too much. This is my channel. So she got mad at me and she turned on me. But what she did is she showed her boob to me and we compared it to the porn bomb, right? She porn bombed me on my live and I had to shut my live down because she titty bombed. I started not letting on my panel as much, not letting on my panel as much, not. So I got porn bombed, right? We compared the porn bomb booby with her in a bra, right? That's all we did. The only pictures I went out to were two of my moderators. That's it. Now, she wants to press charges against me for porn sharing or something like that. Pictures, and I sent them to two of my moderators and said, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think this is the same boob? Because it looks like the same boob. And my two moderators said, that is definitely the same boob. She wants to press charges against me because I apparently shared her nudity. No, you sent me new pictures and I sent them to two of my moderators and said, that looks like the same boob. And they came back and said, Michelle, that is the same boob. Now, here's where she gets ignorant. Ignorant. I didn't say ignorant because that word is too big for her. You need to go to Disney World because you're not allowed here because I'm like, a conservative Republican and Mickey Mouse fan. I don't believe in. Hello, friends. I like the Disney World when they said hello, girls and boys. See ya. Go to Disney World. If I offend anyone, I'm sorry. I can't stand Disney World since they changed that to hello, friends. and said, hey, girls and boys. I hate Disney World. She pressed charges against me, right? For revenge porn, apparently. You ignorant little girl. Apparently, she made a report. 
to the Harris County Sheriff, right? <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Pointed all this to Harris County Sheriff's Office, right? <laughs> I had to turn it off after this because I had enough. She informed me, she's got a police report, right? <laughs> that she filed through Harris County, right? Get it, hold on. Y'all hold it down. Don't laugh too hard. If you have to use a potty, I suggest that you take your phone and you go to the bathroom right now so you don't pee-pee your pants. <laughs> she pressed charges against me in Harris County, right? And she turned this video evidence of me supposedly hitting a car when I ran over a railroad tire. Like, you know the railroad things? So she pressed charges against me supposedly, I don't know, in October or November for revenge porn. Your name is Stone Gator. You're like a fictional character anyway, and it didn't show your face. But she made reports for revenge porn in November. Stone Gator, you're a fictional character. But <laughs> she also went on her live and said she turned in the video of me running over the railroad tire and swore I hit a car. And she said, <laughs> no, I can't even get it out. I can't even get it out. She said that Sheriff Jolly was not the sheriff of Harris County. <laughs> Wait, this ignorant woman <laughs> was father court in Harris County, Texas. <laughs> and not Harris County, Georgia. <laughs> she said, she said that Sheriff Jolly was not the sheriff of Harris County. Bitch, you father court in Harris County, Texas because he is the sheriff of Harris County, Georgia. <laughs> you ignorant. You ignorant. <laughs> Stone, dare. <laughs> she filled out a police report in the wrong state. <laughs> Good one, Stones. Gear. Oh, I was laughing on that one. Girl, the nicest thing I can say to you is your face looks like your neck threw up. <laughs> Smoke some more, Stones. Gear. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of ignorant. <laughs> I had to educate her. <laughs> Touche. Touche. <laughs> then again, she also went up to go stay with Amber. Yep, you need to lay off the edibles, little girl. You need to lay off the edibles, little girl. Maybe you need to go back to school and get some continuing education. Okay. Um, Michelle Obama. I can't stand Michelle Obama, so you're actually not giving me an insult. You're totally not, because Michelle Obama, I think, is a man. And I'm definitely not a man. I definitely have a JJ between my legs, and you cannot convince me that Michelle Obama is not a man. Just so you know, Michelle Obama is a man, in my opinion. It's a man. There's been some, um, pictures of her with some kind of tight slacks, and it looks like that she has a pee-pee. Kind of looks like she's got a pee-pee down there. Looks like she's packing. Just saying. Oh my god, I just blocked Tara. Tara, I just blocked you. Holy shit. Tara, I just blocked you and I don't know where my hotspot is. I'm um, waiting to find my mom. Um, it's somewhere in here. Is Tara back? You're watching this at the end because this is all on video and you can't, you cannot. The internet is forever. Because I'm addressing your BS tonight. I'm going to let y'all tell at the end of the story. Because nobody had the gate code and it's going to be a pain to change it. Great. Do you also know why I didn't want them up here? Oh, that's right. He gave it to them. Mm -hmm. He gave it to them and I was angry because I wanted to buzz them in. Correct. Thank you. There you go. Because people get stuck at the top of the driveway. Look, look, they're telling you the story. I don't even have to say it. I don't even have to say it. There you go. People get stuck at the driveway. No one has a gate code. He knows this. But he gave him the gate code anyway. And he knows I don't want people. Oh, also, what did I say about the dogs? What did I say about what happened with Jake? I'm going to let my subs tell you the story at the end. Just thrown up in here and I know that that was my ex-husband. Because my gate code was just posted on here. No one is my gate code, so I know that he was just in here. Because he hates me. That was my ex-husband. You're a piece of shit. My mom's have a pin to my bank, but they don't have a pin to my gate code. You pathetic loser. It wasn't the surf road people. It was him. Because it's Will I Am, and that's his that's his the person that married us. No, it wasn't the surf road people. Now, surf row 100 percent was a setup, and I didn't even think about it. He's going to jail. He knows he's going to jail. He knows that he's but the judge is going. Oh, let him join the YouTube madness. Let him join it. Because he knows he's gonna do about two or three days in jail for contempt. He's just drunk. He's just drunk. No one knows our gate code except for you, and Tara screenshot that shit. That is something else I'm bringing to the judge for my, my security. But I see what you can't clip everything. I see what you can't do not compromise my safety. Do you understand that? I'm asking you nicely. I know that you clip everything. Do not post my gate code, please. That is my safety. Days now, ATN. Does this piss you off? Does this piss you off? Does it? I've got 14 days now. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. I think I was set up. I think he set me up. I had problems with Surfboat. When downstairs flooded and I fired them and I got someone else to come in. Because I have filled that paperwork for contempt, and I told him that I was going to file it. I think it was a setup, because he knows I'm taking him back to court for contempt, because he waited until the 11th hour to fix things. So he knows I'm taking him back to court. Honey, bull daddy, you're my hero. When Surfer came. So I think he sent some spies in here to check the house unannounced the first day. I rescheduled. They were supposed to call me at the gate, and they didn't. They just showed up on the top driveway, and he knows I hate that. Everyone parks downstairs. It's not because I think I'm better than people. At the end, I am taking you. You are in so much trouble. You are in so much fucking trouble. You are in so much fucking trouble. I'm not into my life. This is all going. Did you get that? Did you get that, Tara? Did you get it, Tara? Did you screenshot that? Oh, shit. And I'm just pulling that way out of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have about $75,000 to $100,000 equity in it. And 
I'm getting more time. I don't have to move out of the house on June 1st. We're listing the house for sale June 1st. And this house is going to take a little while to sell, I promise you. Was my life threatened this week? I was on the phone with the Tulsa um, DA's office with Ski Mask Andy's probation officer. So they heard my business. They heard my business. So when they came downstairs, I apologized. I said, look, I've got a YouTube channel. I've got a YouTube channel. My life was threatened by another creator. Because they were all up in my shit. So nicely. My life was threatened by another creator. I was on the phone with the DA's office. He said he was going to hit me in with a cinder block and stab me a hundred times in the stomach. Watching myself in this point, I haven't seen you on YouTube. I think it's a question for us to know that we're going to tell you 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 that we're Four hours later, ATM said, you just can't work with anybody. I was mad that they got the gate code. I was mad that they parked in the top driveway. And I said this on my live because people back down. We've had contractors get stuck backing down our driveway. He knows it. I know it. I didn't want anyone to have my gateway. Etienne got them to write a letter against me saying that they could not work with me, that they were scared to be at the house with me, and that I told them that I told them that I said Etienne hit me in the head with a concrete cinema. You believe that shit? Etienne, you're in trouble, and I'm going to get this girl fired. I called the owner of the company, and I told him I was going to sue him, and I sent him all the proof. All of the proof of what happened. I'm like, I am suing you for slander. I am suing you for slander. And he's like, well, I'll just pass this off to my attorney. Real smart ass. The owner of this surf pro. Guess what? I'm calling the home office of surf pro. I'm going to pay the mortgage. I'm just giving the house back. I know I have a VA loan, but all I have is the house is equity. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, darling. You can't just give a house back. You have to file bankruptcy first. And when you've got $500 plus thousand dollars in a Merrill Lynch savings account in your portfolio, a bankruptcy judge is not going to let you give a house back. And he's like, well, the house is equity. <clears throat> darling, the bank does not want the house. They want their money. Any assets that you have, they are going to seize. This is a VA loan. They cannot touch your disability, but they sure the hell can touch your pension. Mm-hmm. Remember Flavor making that post that he texted back and forth, drunk texting her? I got that too. Stunt double. She's never stunt double. She's a prostitute. Yep, here you going. <laughs> Sniffing in the background. Must be real. I know you ain't going to get cigarettes. You got a car now and you live. Be honest. I can hear you going. <laughs> and you're going 15 minutes and you live in the hood. And then you. I'll be right back. I'm going to the store. I need to get some smokes. Bomb, keep your people. Bomb, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to the store. I need to get some smokes. And you're gone 15 minutes and you live in the hood and then you do a nine hour live till seven o'clock in the morning. Bam, let's be honest. I can hear you going <laughs> sniffing in the background. Must be real. I know you ain't gonna get cigarettes. You got a car now when you live in the hood and you get a lot of cash apps. Bomb, I can hear you snorting. I can hear you snorting. Oh, bomb is hard up for a bunch of money. And bomb snorts at all. Bomb, why don't you buy some teeth with all them cash apps? Ah, Michelle over there. She's on her channel. Bomb, everybody knows you snort shit. You're a cokehead, you're a meth head. How convenient that you're tired and then you take a trip to the store and then you do another nine hour live. Here we go, here we go. Let me get some gum. Let me get my gum. I believe my cash app is up there. Hang on. If you hate Michelle, drop me a cash app. Piss her off. <laughs> I appreciate it. Can I get another cash app? Come on, everybody's getting bomb cash apps. You're making fun. Can I get some cash apps tonight? It's Friday night. You know you got to. Come on with those cash apps. Come on, guys. Dig deep. There's some cash apps for me. I've never done this before. But you know what? Let them cash apps come on in. They want to come on in and make fun of me. Uh, Michelle, you ain't getting no cash app. My cash app. I asked her. I asked her for truth. I'm like, how are you so fat? How do you eat food with no teeth and get so fat? Let my haters contact her, bro. Let them. Let them do it. Because I've got all the information on them. I have all the information on them. I sent the owner all the information tonight while he was at his birthday dinner. 